Um, well, uh, my name is Myra Oyola. I am the deputy director for the International GNSS Service Central Bureau. Uh, we are at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, United States. I'm going to start talking about a little bit about GNSS. Um, Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS, is one of the four Space Geodesy International Services and Techniques, right next to VLDI, SLR, and DORIS. It refers to a constellation of satellites that provide signals from space and they can transmit positioning and timing data to GNSS receivers. Most of the time, these receivers are on the ground, but we also have some applications in which we have uh, space borne receivers. Current services include Beidou, Galileo, GLONASS, and GPS. These are our global services. However, we also have regional services, um, which are QCSS and NAVIC. Now, why is the IGS so important? First up, IGS stands for International GNSS Service. It's a voluntary federation of over 200 self-funding organizations, universities, and research institutions in more than 100 countries. And we work together to provide the highest precision GNSS satellite orbits in the world. As you can see, we, we also have 506 stations. They're also located all over the world. And uh, this is one of our primary instruments in terms of retrieving uh, the data uh, that we applied for um, different scientific and high-end applications. Some of the data that the IGS collects, archives, and distributes includes the GNSS satellite ephemerids, air rotation parameters, coordinates and velocities, clock information information as well as ionospheric products and tropospheric information. And we can utilize those last two for correction of the GNSS signal. However, there are other applications in terms of climate and weather in which ionospheric and tropospheric information might be extremely useful. Now, looking into the future, particularly in the next five years. So for over the last 25, the IGS has served the community as a facilitator, coordinator, incubator, and advocate. We look forward to move to our next 10 years, focusing, continuing that tradition, but at the same time, focusing into three main goals. Uh, one of them is to achieve multi-GNSS technical excellence. Next is to improve her outreach and engagement. And finally, uh, increase our sustainability and resilience for the organization. Now, these three strategic goals have come together to create 12 objectives. In terms of data, most of the data-oriented objectives fall within the multi-GNSS technical excellence, and we're looking into moving towards a fully multi-GNSS service, not just GPS, which was the original service, and also have some more real-time uh, products beyond uh, GPS. I, we hope that doing so, we will have access for a growing and more diverse user community. And at the same time, we will be able to advocate for greater understanding of geodesy and perform outreach to broader scientific community, as well as have uh, additional user applications. We have a major tool that will lead the next five years in the IGS, and that is our portal, the IGS website. Um, this new refresh website uh, will allow the community to learn more about GNSS data and products that are derived from it, view daily high rate information uh, and data, as well as keep in contact with us and the rest of the geology community that are part of the IGS. Uh, the new IGS site can be uh, found in uh, www.igscb.org. I also want to invite you to consider to attend our workshop. Uh, the uh, title of the workshop is Science from Earth to Space, and will take place next year in Boulder, Colorado, during the last week of September. And finally, please connect with us uh, on social media. Uh, we have platforms on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me at myra.i.oyola at jpl.nasa.gov or myra at igs.org. Thank you very much for your attention.